Yo, Rado McGee. About to head up to V89. Visiting with Underground Railroad, my man A to the L. Told me to stop through. It's one of my last few days in Tallahassee. It's crazy. So, uh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. This place is crazy. Everybody's visiting. Everybody been through. I always forget a marker, and of course I did again. But I've written my name down here a couple times in the past. But crazy, everybody been here. Everybody been here, man. Underground railroad been on for years. Years. We also have a special guest in the house right now. DJ Maniac McGee. Yo. The married musical man. I am married. I want y'all to know. Why do you always bring that up, man? Well, this is funny. <laughs> Before we go any further, I just want y'all to know what's going on right here. Everyone. This is this working? Come on, man. Can you hear me now? Okay. So me and McGee have to do a duet on the other mic. What I was what I was about to say was I've now been relegated out of the Captain Kirk chair. Jeff got the comfy chair, right? I was on the third mic. Then I was about to be on the fourth mic. This little slim looking mic pause. I'm saying, look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the, I'm over here in the corner. There ain't nowhere else for me to go but maybe like next door into the other studio or something. Like, are y'all really trying to say something? Like, Jeff must have set his alarm to come up here. He's like, Man, I ain't letting A to the L get this seat. Like, I gave you it last week. I let you hold it, but come on, man. Hey, hey, we're not, hey man, we switch right now, man. Pause. Right now. <laughs> oh, no, not like that, bro. Jeff, I'm not really even used to you even being here. I know, he's normally in his, he's normally in there watching them funny movies on the other computer. Hey, man, I'm my video. <laughs> like, oh, oh. Jeff, Jeff normally goes into the back studio with, like, a stick of butter and a little Kim album. <laughs> Hey, hey, man, just a little Kim ain't been hot to me since that spread back in 96, man. What? She can still get it. Period. Yeah, well, Period. Maniac uh, McGee is, is, <laughs> Period. is also not it. only the best dressed DJ in Tallahassee, but also the blindest. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, nah, you don't understand. I tapped that just so I could call you all the next Saturday and tell you I did. You know what I mean? It's, just, it's oh. for the story. That's for that's the adventure. That's just to say. That's just to say you 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 know you met you met up with Lil Kim. Mm. It's really hard for me to watch my language talking about this. I'm like, <laughs> pause it and search it for little words. <laughs> Queen of England can get it in my book. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> how, the, how the hell you gonna put JC and Stess on it and leave me off? <laughs> what kind of shit is that? I agree, dude. This man's a legend, dude. ATL is a legend. <laughs> Alright, he's been doing this since before the rest of us were born. Okay, yeah. that's true. Hell yeah. I was born, but I was still young. I'm, I'm an 81 all day, so. Really? Yeah. I got you by two years. 79. Same year the first hip hop track went platinum. <gasps> Come on, son. You should know me by now. Nothing is serious up in here. He's just an angry man. I'm not really. I just like cracking and snapping on people. <laughs> Uh, first Oakland and then LA. Wow. It's about it's about what I can afford out there. So if I stay, I might be. I look good in blue. I got blue eyes. I might maybe I'll post up down in Long Beach because Jay Lawson's down there. Go out there, trade in his uh, Acura truck, give him a 6'4". The, the, the Lexus, the Lexus, the Lexus out, but I, I think I'm going to get, once I get settled wherever I get settled, the Lexus out, but I think I might go healthy. Go green. I might get, try to find something old that's diesel and get it converted to the biodiesel and just smell like french fries all the time. I love that smell. Some hot shit right there.
Yeah. You know, I just hey. got a I like your glasses. You know, I just got a phone with this just now. Yeah, I just Looking sharp. Yeah. There you go. It was pretty cool. We played every track. Every track? Yeah, except for yours. Uh, <laughs> No, actually, we played we played your track, but when you came on, we just oh, yeah, rewind, rewind. That's what I would do. Yeah, we don't want people to start leaving. Okay. <laughs> now nah, the real reason is because they didn't want to give all the good stuff away. You know what I mean? Some people had to still get it. You know what I mean? Go download it and stuff, or here get some surprises when they heard the CD. Y'all been giving out a lot of them? Yeah, we almost done. Um, Shit, I came in, I came in Janine's car today. Otherwise, I had some in the car. I could have gave you one. How long are you here for? I'll be here tomorrow. What are you doing tonight? Huh? What are you doing tonight? I'm probably chilling. I got. You think you like good feedback off the joint? Yeah. It's dope, dude. I leave Shahid Muhammad. That was big. That was big. That was big. That was big. You heard it? Yeah. Hey, hey, you know, it might, might, hey, he, he, he posted on Twitter about it. Let me see. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's such a dope, it's such a dope project. It really is. I just, I just want, are they sealed? I just want, I want, well, I'm not going to open it. I just want, oh, no, 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 no. For what? That's really cool. Yeah. I'll be showing you Muhammad. On sign, I want one sign. We're going to get that. It's not that serious, man. It's no one would do it. Why not? It's not that serious. It's not serious to y'all. It's serious Exactly, Why? man. It's not about you. I it's about them. Like because people, like, we live vicariously I through you. One, I want, like, <laughs> sealed, unopened, yeah. unsigned, and the other one I just want. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, stuff that don't seem like nothing 20 years from now. You're going to try to eat it? Yeah. You're going to throw it on eBay. Yo, if I could get a month of my bills paid off of having that CD signed, hey. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's this, you're leaving Florida again? Again, right? Isn't that ridiculous? Like eight times? No, I've never left Florida before, but I'm leaving Florida now. I've left Tallahassee before and keep coming back, but now I'm leaving, now Florida. You're leaving Florida. Yeah. I don't really know yet. Uh, I got about six or eight weeks worth of travels ahead of me, so like planned out, and then, um, once that's up, I figure I'll figure it out along the way, you know what I mean? I'll, uh, either I'll find a place that, like, seems ideal, or I'll figure out more places to travel to, or whatever, you know? I was like, he leaving Florida, leaving Tallahassee again. Exactly. He's going to be back. Exactly. He's coming back. I hope not. You're like Jay-Z. You're not retired. He's coming back. <laughs> I hope not. I'm kind of ready to ride. Man, man. I wish Jay-Z would retire. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then you get the good seat. Then you get the real good seat in here. All right. <laughs> That's what you want. We got him back in the 850. Since uh, we played a couple of tracks off the South by Southwest mixtape, yeah. how was uh, that experience? I know we talked about it on the phone, but let's elaborate a little bit more. Honestly, it was it's a long experience, but when you think about exactly what it is, they it's probably 45 artists on there. 45 artists on a mixtape that was done on a mobile studio in Austin, Texas during uh, South by Southwest Festival. For those who don't know, it's a pretty big festival that happens every year in Austin. Uh, it's, a, it's an arts festival, but they have a big music portion. It's about 10 days. So, so you know, a lot of hip hop artists down there. So they got a lot of these people to get on the bus um, and drop stuff. Got producers sitting in beats, you know, like Jake One and Crisis and Apollo Brown and uh, to rock over. but. It isn't like a, a studio production. It isn't like, you know, something that's really formulated, something that happens on the fly. So having it on the fly is like to put all this mishmash stuff together, people who never work with each other, producers who never work with these artists, and to put it all together to make it sound good, man. It was a lot of work. A lot, a lot, a lot of work. A lot of work. Um, all in all, man, um, you know, it came, out, it came out relatively dope between, you know, making this happen for a bunch of artists, a bunch of producers in two months. You know, usually an album takes, you know, upwards to two years to make for some artists. Yeah. And in two months to put this, it was all original work, all original beats, all original everything. It wasn't nothing premeditated, anything. So to put it all together, I definitely have to tip my hat to uh, Amon Jackson, man. He really made it happen. He really made it happen, put the mixtape together, and uh, DJ Precise. 
those two men spent a lot of long nights putting that together. A lot of long nights, but it, it, it came out dope. So it was it was definitely a good experience, but it was it was some hard work. Okay. Off the top of your head, can you just let the people know uh, some of the artists that are featured on the project? Um, Four Eyes, um, Casual from Hieroglyphics, um, J Live. Oh man, I've heard so many artists. Uh, there's so many new artists. Uh, DJ Premier has this artist named Nick Javis that's about to drop. He was on there. Um, Midas from Orlando. Czarism. Um, oh, John, what up? Man, so many people. <laughs> it's hard to name, man. Um, now, one of the questions that we were asking today, as of right now, currently, current artists. Current artists. Who are your top five lyricists? LZI number one. Jay Electronica number two. Uh, Planet Asia number three. Blue number four. <sighs> number five would be. Number five would be. Midas. Wow. wow. Midas the Beast. Okay. Now I'm not I'm not trying to exclude you know the greats, you know all those people because I think I think CeeLo may be one of the greatest writers ever. Yeah. Yeah. I think Andre 3000 and you know all, all those hat cast and all those people, but this past few years, man, I, w I would give it to those guys. Okay. L Zai is definitely like he smashes everything he gets on. Have you uh, heard Pause. the L the Elmatic thing is like. I've never been a fan of you guys. Not ever been a fan of like people going back and touching classics. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. <I'm> like, <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I hate, yeah. I hate classics. Sometimes it does go well. Unless they can pull it off and, and make it like its own thing. Yeah. So uh, he did. I, I'm glad he did the Elmatic thing the way he did it. He didn't just take the beats and just rhyme on. Yeah. He kind of made it his own project. Like, he flipped the beats too. He flipped the beats. He had a band play all the joints except for one he got one beat from crisis but other than that he flipped all the joints and man it was dope it was yeah. a, it was an awesome project what was y'all top fives i'm interested to hear it so i what? couldn't even get five i know you can't get like two anybody. probably what, what, no, what was your five Jay? i I, did, I i couldn't think of any like current people who are really amazing new i mean I, I, I got like not not that regularly makes me like oh my goodness i gotta rush out and buy an album apart from maybe fonte yeah, I gotta definitely throw Fonte, but I, I want to consider him one of the. Well, I will put Fonte, and I definitely think like MF Doom never disappoints me. But pause. <laughs> Y'all are just ridiculous with this. He pauses it's every. Going day. to find a way to. What, what, what do you got? What, what were some of the? What were some of the other people were talking about? That one was actually fire. really. I know funny. Crooked. I know Crooked Eyes in there. Slaughterhouse and Elzai. That's your five. The Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse and Elzai. Wow. Four of your top fives in, yeah, in one group. group. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. Those choices brought to you by Crack. <laughs> in America. Oh, man. What you have, McGee? I couldn't get through my list because I could not curse. But uh, when I when that I got Biggie and then I got cut off because I'm an idiot. But Biggie, um, I didn't realize we were talking current, though. Current. But I had uh, uh, that changes everything for me, um, man. Current's a much tougher question, but I in my top. Wow, you I gotta come back. Fre to me. I would put Freddie Gibbs in there. Yeah, I like that Freddie, dude a Freddie lot. Freddie Gibbs go hard. I like, I like J Cole a lot too. <laughs> I, I like Freddie Gibbs and Curtis, I like J Cole a lot too. Serious, serious question. Oh, no, Seri serious, serious question. This is actually serious. When 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 Freddie Gibbs goes the way of Wale in about another six months and turns all Jeezy like it, you know, are I, you still gonna put him up there or are you gonna nah, be like, I won't, oh my god what are you doing? To, to, for right now, he murders everything he gets on yeah. he, he doesn't he doesn't go soft on anything so Pause. in, in, in <laughs> six months <laughs> this is ridiculous, six months from now he turns Wale, I never thought Wale was even close to as talented as Freddie Gibbs, but if he turns and goes that route, he's already started. Have you heard Run DMC? Like nah, they have a track called Run DMC. Him and Jeezy. I've heard some other stuff. Uh, currently, uh, he was on some uh, couple remixes with some people. 
Uh, he was on currency, they say, with Alchemist, and he bodied that. So, I mean, I get to that guy. <laughs> Pause. Oh. <laughs> wow, you missed an opportunity. I, I just inwardly tutted to myself. But, but <laughs> house and Elza? Yeah. Yeah. All the Slaughterhouse. Crooked Eye, Joe Budden, Gerard Ortiz, Royce of Five. What do you think of the Royce, the Royce and Eminem joint? Fast Lane? I mean, what, what do you think of that doing the project Friday. together? I think it's dope. Yeah. You think it's going to be like some old... Yeah. It's L. The tracks, I've, I've heard like two or three, two tracks, right? Fast Lane is like actually one of my favorite tracks right now. I, I, think, it's, I think it's super dope. So, Check this out. I heard something that I thought was going to be whack was dope. The Under Gods. The Keith Murray Cannabis album. Dope. And Gods We Trust. Huh. Gods We Trust and Mike's We Crush. Yeah, I heard uh, Keith Murray outside Cannabis too. Yeah. What they time? Went neck, they went neck and neck, man. It was, it's actually, I was kind of skeptical. Like, this may be a <laughs> lot of whack beats. They got a lot of really dope beats. They got uh, Eric Sermon. They got Eric Sermon. They got Jake. Like, they got a lot of dope production. And it actually turned out dope. And they got another artist who I think people sleep on who's really dope lyrically. is Tech Nine. He's on that joint. What? Yeah. He's, Tech Nine goes hard. He's man. in my top five for sure. He's in my top five current. Man. I went outside for a cigarette while visiting VA9 and I found these two hooligans. This is uh, Zish. This is DJ7. What's up? DJ7 Cypher in here. These are the, the, the two producers behind Vintage Tux. Other ground shit. Other other ground shit. It's going down. It's going down. We're about to go back inside. Does they know y'all are coming? Or are you no, surprised? No. Nice. Surprise. Surprises are cool. Big shout to Manny at McGee. Oh, that's me. Wishing him a farewell. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? About to leave Tallahassee. For real. We're riding with McGee. That's all right. I found some, some ruffians. Who are you? Hey, <laughs> 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 In one show. In one show. We got an S, a B, and an no, 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 I'm good now. Way back to the car. I thought that was the best Dude, you, you, so big? You, know what's, you know what's so whack about it as well? The entire song is clean. <laughs> and they have that on the intro. Oh, and I've never cool. played the intro. Like, my cue point in Serato was the start of the song. Hey, hey, like, King Shamit was here. King Shamit, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can slide, hey, I'm Dude, there. everybody's Dude. dropping bad words. Let it go, oh. team, clear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say bitch? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know you could say bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Can't say what this man just did. The F bomb. He, he said fuck like Mr. Fokker. There you go. That's how you get out of it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking white people with their horrible language. Oh, man. Team clear. Team out of the game. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Yeah.
It was crazy. It was crazy. Six years of memory. Six years of magic. Six years of happiness. Six years of love and friendship. Six years of chaos. Empty. 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 Everything's empty. 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 I got guys coming to put down new floors. New carpeting, painting the walls, <coughs> landscaping outside, painting, pressure washing outside. Man, the legends that have lived in this room. Oh boy. The legends that have lived in this room. Oh boy. It's an incredible house, man. Incredible house. The legend that lived in that room. That's where the magic happened. <laughs> it really is the dopest fucking crib ever. And now that like it's about to be real super clean and pimp, they're redoing the railing on the balcony and all that. Painting the walls and the ceilings and even the garage is getting painted. And it's like it's really the dopest crib ever. Hear that echo? 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 <laughs> easily three cars in this garage. The video camera won't do it justice. You could easily get three cars in this garage. How many townhouses can have three, three bedroom townhouses have a three car garage? So once all that work's done in a couple weeks, I'm gonna put it on the, on the, uh, what's it called? On the market. So if you're trying to buy a, uh, Three bedroom townhouse in Tallahassee. Great neighborhood. Great school district. Tallahassee has the best parks in America, consistently in the top 10. And we're right by Tom Brown. You ever need a really dope crib in Tallahassee? You want to buy a dope crib in Tallahassee? Just email me directly. Let's cut out. Let's cut out the real estate agency and the 6% I got to give them. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it without them. It's a gorgeous home. You know you want it. Maniacmcgee at roughhousetactics.com. Email me. <laughs> Man, now I'm really about to be riding. Y'all riding with McGee. I'm riding out. My destination is unknown. My final destination is unknown. I know today I'm driving to Columbia, South Carolina. Now. It's crazy. It's really crazy. I'm riding. Y'all riding with me. Come on and ride.